What's good people? Thank you as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so last time out, no one got the answer to the question to win the Fox Sports hat and the Fox Sports t-shirt. Um, so let's do it again. Let's try another question. I think this one might be a bit easier. So the first person to answer correctly, I will post this shit out on the, the 25th of February. So I'm back on the 24th, but I think 24th is a Sunday. So Monday, the 25th of February, I will post it out. So you will get it the next day, the 26th. And again, this is only available, unfortunately, to UK guys. I'm not posting this shit for free to America. It's no point. No point, people, or anywhere else in the world. So the question is in three parts. I need you to name the following. Remember, first person to get it correctly, I will email and we'll sort this shit out. My best footballer of all time. My best footballer of all time. My best tennis player of all time. And my best sprinter of all time. So my best footballer, my best tennis player, and my best sprinter. I have, I think, mentioned all three during um, my time doing Q&As or just other videos as well on my Twitter page. So you should know the answer to this. The first person will get that shit in a post and we'll get it by the 26th of February. All right, let's talk Billy Joe Saunders. Um, I can't lie to you. He's fucking annoying me, people. I can't lie to you. Um, he's in danger of becoming Kelbrook 2.0. He's in danger of becoming a guy that has a super amount of talent that's going to get to a stage where his career ends and we're going to say, oh, you only fought two or three people. He is in danger of getting there because he is 29 right now. I think he's probably in the hottest division, um, both financially and in terms of legacy fights. When you think of who's in that division right now, it is a fantastic division. It really is. Um, and I think he's pissing it away. I think he's pissing it away. Someone um, said, I, I did a video about Billy Joe Saunders with regards to the drug issue. Um, I don't know when I did it, October, September, October. And someone actually mentioned, is he the biggest waste of talent we've ever seen in Britain? I thought that was a bit harsh because I think I can name a few others. But I mean, he's up there. He's up there. And look, we only make these kind of videos because he's that good. If I thought it was shit, I wouldn't give a fuck if I'm honest with you. If I thought he had no talent, I'd be like, mm, so what? But he has a super amount of talent, which we've seen in parts. I think we saw it a bit with Andy Lee. We saw it for the first three or four rounds with Christy Wayne Jr. And then I think we saw a complete performance against David Lemieux. But those performances are guys of over a year ago. I mean, David Lemieux was December 2017. We're now February 2019, and it's just been announced that he's going to go to 168 pounds. Challenge for a WBO world title. And we're going to get to how the fuck he's even challenged for this title against a guy I've never heard of in my life. I pride myself on knowing a bit about boxing. I always tell you guys, I don't know a lot. I know a bit. I kind of research and study and whatever, but I've never, ever heard of this guy that he's fighting. So yes, he wins a world title, 168 pounds. But what does that mean for your legacy? I don't know what it means. He's not fighting the people he should be fighting. If he was in a situation where there was no one in the 160 pound division to fight, all right, fair enough. I get it. But there is. But there is. Um, he was supposed to fight Demetrius Andrade. I think the WBO, for some reason, allowed him to be mandatory for that belt. And I do think that the reason he hasn't fought Demetrius Andrade is because of the purse split. The first time he was going to fight Demetrius Andrade, he was the champion. So he was going to get the big lion's share of the money. Now he's coming as a challenger and the money's just not the same. Whose fault's that? He failed the fucking drug test. And now he's going up to 168 pounds and fighting a nobody. A nobody. Not only that, but how the fuck does he get a shot? He's never, to my recollection, fought 168 pounds before. And all of a sudden, the WBO, who suspended him, put him in a position where he fights for their world title. It makes absolutely no sense. And I just feel like the last year and a half has just been a disgrace for Billy Joe Saunders. Just, just embarrassing. Let's, not, let's kind of try and remember the year and a half. So after he beat David Lemieux, he was signed up to fight Martin Murray. I think people even forget that. Got cancelled. Signed up to fight Martin Murray again, got cancelled. Then signed up to fight Demetrius Andrade, failed a drug test. Then came back and had a fight at Cruiserweight. And now he's fighting this guy no one knows. That's his year and a half. I mean, I'm not going to chuck in the suspensions and the fines and all the other shit that's been... That's his year and a half. And I just, I just, it's just... Is he serious? I just don't know if he's serious. I mean, look, again, we're talking about a very, very talented fighter. But I, I just don't know if he's serious. There is something about... And sometimes I feel this about British fighters um, where the aim or the mindset 
is to win a world title, which I think is fantastic. Look, I'm not even trying to downplay how hard it is to win a world title. It's very, very hard. Whereas I think some of the other countries, especially, I don't know if it's the Mexicans or the Americans, the mindset, if you're a top fighter, this is, which Brooke and Billy Joe Saunders are, the mindset isn't to win a world title. The mindset is to win several world titles. The mindset is to be in several big fights. I don't know if something needs to change in our mindset sometimes. Because I look at someone like Canelo. Canelo is a year younger than Billy Joe Saunders. Granted, he started his professional career earlier. So Billy Joe Saunders turned pro in 2009. And I think he's had 27 fights, I think. No, I mean, yeah, I think 27 fights. Um, Canelo turned pro... I think it was 2004 2005 and he's had nearly double that in fact he has had double that he's had 54 fights 50 56 fights i think canelo again it might be people might think that's a crazy comparison but i'm just comparing two people in the same weight division um who are nearly the same age and you look at canelo's cv and he wants more canelo fucking wants more he's not satisfied where he wants more and that's why he's got this massive contract with the zone that's just not by luck, that's just the fact of, fucking hell, this kid wants everything. And I look at some of our kids, I say our kids, but you know, Brits, and I think, I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of, again, I feel like they get to a world title stage, they get a bit of money, and I don't know if the hunger goes. Sometimes I feel like the hunger goes. Whereas I feel like fighters from lesser backgrounds, I feel like the hunger's just more, the desire's just more. I mean, I'm in Africa, and I'm not even going to tell you what some of the guys get. So there's obviously some... IBO world champions out here. There's some legit world champions out here actually now. I'm not even going to tell you what their purses are. I'm not, I'm not even going to go there. Um, their hunger is fucking through the roof because they're not seeing anything. They're not seeing anything. And some of them are better than some of the talent I see in Britain. Trust me. Miles better. Um, and the purses they're getting. But look, look, anyway, I just feel like Billy Joe Saunders really needs to get a move on. There's something about people, us, as human beings, that we think we have all the time in the world. I don't know what it is. Um, and sports people are even worse because they don't have all the time in the world. And Billy Joe Saunders, at 29, probably has two or three years left at his peak. Like, peak Billy Joe Saunders. Doesn't have all the time in the world. Two or three years left for Billy Joe Saunders on his current run is two fights. He doesn't have time at all, people. Peace.